Happy Labor Day, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Costa Countdown to Blast Off. We're up here on beautiful Lake Norman, just north of Charlotte, anglerschannel.com. Pro staffer Robbie Dye with us as usual. And uh, Robbie, we got a few tournaments coming up that everybody's kind of prepping for, then the championships. But you know one thing that hadn't changed so far this What's year? That? What's that? The heat. I know. It's, it's, it's been unreal, you know, and a lot of guys, I, including myself, it's, it's hard to get in the mood and go out and go fishing when it gets this hot. And the fishing gets a little bit tougher. But, you know, it's not going to be long. The, the leaves are going to be changing, John, and these bass are going to go chewing. Yeah, well, it's uh, uh, anticipated. Let's put it that yes, way. Yes, it is. Um, we've got an Ed Watkins, uh, Ed Watkins Denver Marine has got a tournament, their first or second tournament, Saturday here on Norman. Uh, what do you do? I mean, I mean, they're, they're – Well, you know – Lake Norman's a great lake. It's got full of spots, so there's going to be a lot of fish caught. The weights are probably going to be fairly low, 12 or 13 pounds. Yeah, right, right, right. But uh, the, the fish are biting here. Uh, yeah, all throughout the southeast, we've had a lot of rain, John, and it's kind of helped prolong our summer fishing to be quite better than normal. So uh, I, I look for, uh, you know, some of the fishing to be better this September than usual. Okay, well, that'll be interesting. Now, speaking of September, that's when it starts to get going because mm -hmm. you've got a bass open you're going to prepare for up on Douglas Lake uh, in Tennessee, which is one of my favorite lakes in the country. Uh, we talked about that at the last uh, episode that we had. Let's talk about it again, though. What do you think you're going to have to do up there to compete? You know, it's going to be uh, a combination, a little bit of shallow, a little bit of deep. They've got a lot of water up there right now, which is going to help the fish in there, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, normally, you know, uh, previous years they've had tournaments there it hadn't took a lot of weight to make the top 10 or even make a check so uh, typically it's a tough fishery in September I think it's going to be a little better than normal okay all right one you know you touched on one thing that I think uh, a lot of anglers look at very very closely and that's water level yeah that lake fluctuates you know 40 some feet a year wow so uh, and and I'm looking at Lake Norman Lake Norman's dropped a little bit, but it's still pretty full. Yeah, it is. And most, most lakes throughout the whole southeast, after Labor Day, they'll, they will start pulling them because there's less uh, entertainment traffic. People's going back to school. Right. So uh, we're going to look for some fall pools here coming up pretty quick. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And when they pull the water, they start chomping a little bit too, Yeah, they? they start biting a little better. And, uh, you know, our lakes are turning over. And it, it kind of gets a little movement in there to get rid of that stagnant water. But like I say, with the rainfall we've had, uh, it, it's going to be a better fall than we than it has been in most times. Tell us quickly, uh, timeline-wise, when do most of these lakes in the southeast actually turn over? Most of the time, it's mid-August. And uh, it, it's been a little bit later this year. They're just now, the water's still here at my house. It's pretty clear. So uh, it's a little bit later. It's probably three or four weeks off than normal. And, and the way you tell that it's turned over, there's a definite clarity change. Oh, definitely. You know, the water's going to get a lot darker. Uh, you know, the oxygen level changes, and uh, it, it just uh, makes it a very tough uh, fishing ability to, to get bit in any of the lakes that, that turn over, John. Last but not least, we got the CBC Championship coming up mid-October, Lake Wiley. You know, Lake Wiley, we haven't talked about as much over the last two, three yeah. years, but you know what? It's still a good lake, and it gets a lot of pressure. It is. It, it, it's a good lake, but those fish down there have have been through the, uh, the bass virus, and uh, they just haven't recovered. And uh, it's going to take some more time for Lake Wiley. Yeah, but, yeah. But uh, it, it's it's going to be a very interesting tournament. It's going to be fifty thousand dollars giveaway down there. So yeah, that 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 gets people out, doesn't yeah, exactly. it? Exactly. Well, hey, folks, wherever you're going this Labor Day weekend, we hope you have a safe one, an enjoyable one. It's the last holiday weekend of the year yes. until the holidays several months down the road. Robbie, best of luck in Tennessee. Thank you. And uh, folks, be safe on the water. We'll see you next week.